got some fun and exciting news going on today. My tuner, Norbert, he's like, hey, rip out those four PSI wastegate springs in there and toss in the old seven ones. So I was like, all right. So went ahead, took out the four PSI wastegate springs out of the twin tile 38 millimeter wastegates. Went ahead, already put in the seven PSI wastegate springs in there. So we should be expecting around eight or nine. I think we're gonna leave the timing alone for now. We just kind of want to see how the car reacts to, you know, basically doubling the boost pressure. Uh, this thing already lights the tires up like it's no one's business. So hopefully it lasts. I don't know. We're going to see. But first I got some maintenance. I got to get done. The rear diff bushing, I think is original to this car that has 340,000 miles on it. So that's pretty shot. I got a spare Apical. Apical. I think I said that right. Apical rear diff bushing that eventually I want to put on, probably not today, but definitely get these 034 street density transmission mounts in because as I'll show you guys in a second, the one that's in here is no bueno. Oh, first things kind of first though, I got to get this thing out of the way. Uh, it's 2013 Audi All-Road, basic 2.0T. It's on bag, so it looks good. I like it. It's fun daily, but kind of been shooting myself in the foot because I've been parking it in the garage and it doesn't really leave much room to work with because I got to get that transmission or the jack. There's the bushing that eventually I'm going to put on this car. But for now, I think we're just going to stick with transmission mounts and uh, see how far that gets us. So here are the old transmission mounts. This one was the passenger side. Not looking too bad. This was the driver's side. It actually started to separate on the bottom and kind of on the edges. Don't know if you can pick that up, but I mean, look at that. So this is what we're replacing it with. This is the 034 street density one. And uh, they install fairly easy. Plenty of room under here and they just go boop boop and then boop boop. And then we do some hard launches and see how it holds, so. We're gonna get to it. Got the old transmission mounts out. Got the new ones in. Car's back on the ground. Let's go take this thing out, see if it drives any better. Things first, let's make sure this thing starts, actually. I changed the fueling so it has a lot less fueling at a, like a cold start. So probably got to readjust it, but uh, hey, it works. And check it out. I put some tape over that so you can't see, and then I took the ABS light out. And then I took the steering wheel off, reclocked it, threw it back on, and that's kind of my way of an alignment. So we'll see how that works, but we're ready to go, bud. So I was going over some of the footage, and this thing smokes like a pig when it's on wide open throttle. And I think I know the issue. I just never really got around to it because I was like, yeah, whatever, but it looks like shit, doesn't it? I never really installed like proper oil restrictors on the turbos. So I think it's just dumping more oil than it needs to, and then that's getting sucked into the intake system. I don't really know how this stuff works. I just kind of know how to weld. I'm not really technical when it comes to this stuff. So I'm gonna try some restrictors on it and go from there. Next thing I'll look at, probably gonna be the catch can. Cause I'm sure maybe having it drain back into the engine without a check valve. So it, I don't know, I just don't know. So aside from the smoking, this car runs perfect. Uh, now that I'm kind of getting to the end of this thing, I had some other thoughts. So the Q5, 
runs and drives great. Uh, stock three liter supercharged motor. I'm thinking maybe a 5.2 in that. And then I got this thing, 2.0. Works great, runs and drives perfect. Thinking about tearing it apart and putting in a B8 S5, 4.2 with a six speed manual. That'd be pretty cool. I don't really know what I want in life anymore other than just swapping cars for the sake of it. But this car, I think we're gonna be good to take it to hell in, as long as the motor lasts. So we'll see.